Hey guys, it's Jordan. So I hope you're all doing really well and having an awesome week so far. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I curl my hair. So get this kind of like textured, messy, loose, wavy, curly things in my in my hair. Good. I mean, as you can tell, my expectations are just top notch. <laughs> I've actually just insert a picture here of me of, of the hair that I'm talking about. Um, but you guys have asked for this so much. So of course. I'm doing it for you. So when I do my hair, I actually switch between two different like appliances. So I'll go between a curling wand and a straightener. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I do my hair with both pretty much. I guess that way, if you have one over the other, it kind of caters to you. Um, And just if you wanna learn a different way, I guess. So let's go. So I'm starting out with my freshly blow dried hair. This is what it looks like. This is the kind of texture that it is. As you guys can see, I mean, I've bleached my hair, so it's got a lot of texture to it, which helps with like volume. And also I've got quite thick hair. So, so this is the curling wand that I'm going to be using. This is a Tresemme 28 millimeter, like barrel curling wand. Um, and I really like it. I feel like it's the perfect size for like loose, messy waves. I'm just going to go ahead and brush through my hair to get rid of any knots. And now all I'm going to do is section off the top section of hair just to make it easier for me to curl. I always do this with a curling one for some reason. Not sure why, I guess I just find it easier. Just like that. <laughs> so a few things I think about when I'm curling my hair. The first one is changing the direction of curls. So I want some to go away from my face, some to come like towards my face, just so the curls don't cling together and there's a lot more kind of texture. The second thing is I like to leave the ends of the hair straight, um, just because it adds kind of more like looseness to the curls. And then the third one is changing where I start the curls. So some I will start at the root, some I will start halfway down, etc. etc. <laughs> I just take the curling wand, hold it down, wrap the hair flat around the curling wand, leave a little bit of the end out as you can see here, leave it for about like five, six seconds, and then I just drop it. And as you can see, you get a nice loose wave. I'm gonna take a thicker chunk of hair. I'm gonna start it, as you can see, not right at the root, just sort of third of the way down. Curl it, leave the ends out, five to six seconds, and then let it go. And then this one I'm going to do towards my face. I just do that around this entire section. So the top section I do just slightly differently. Um, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the back and work my way forward because on the top is where I want most of the volume. So all that I do is I'm gonna go ahead, flip my hair forward and then grab a back section. I'll show you. <laughs> Basically every single curl I do on the top section, I make sure that I curl right from the root, just so I get this bounce here, so I get a little volume. <laughs> now this is quite a big chunk of hair, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide it into two, and I'm gonna curl mine this way, because that's just how my hair likes to naturally fall. So I'm gonna start with this bit, right from the root, wrap it around, leave it for a few seconds, and then you can let it go. Let's go ahead and do the exact same thing to this last bit. The 
this is what my hair looks like after I've finished curling it. I'm just going to leave it for a minute or so just to cool down. You don't want to touch the curls until it's cooled down. Otherwise, um, they'll start cooling in a different position. You just want to leave them so that they last all day. Now that it's cool, all I'm going to do is like flip my head over and just like toss it in all different directions and kind of run my fingers for it roughly just to really loosen up the curls. Tip my head over and I'll just run my fingers through it. Ruffle it up a little bit. Take it from like side to side. Got me working side to side. <laughs> I like my hair like big and messy, so if you like that, then do this step. <laughs> I'm just taking my hairbrush and just ever so lightly brushing through the curls just to like loosen them up and make my hair a little bit more kind of like fluffy looking. And then a couple products I use just to add some like texture into my hair um especially when it's clean so, so these are the two products i will either go between now these are from bedhead and i love these both but honestly any sort of dry shampoo or um a thickening spray this is the queen for a day's thickening spray or sea salt spray just something to add more texture now it completely depends on what i'm feeling that day on what i will like use um the thickening spray or the sea salt spray will add more like texture feeling to your hair like the actual hair will feel more what does that, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm not hard, but you know what I mean. Whereas obviously the dry shampoo um, is a lot more kind of subtle in the hair. The dry shampoo I'll of course opt for when I'm on like two, three day old hair. My hair's like <laughs> looking kind of gross. <laughs> so I usually just like flip my head and just spray like a really small amount all over my hair. Oh, this stuff smells amazing. <laughs> then the last thing I do just to add more like oomph to the hair is I'll just take my brush and just gently push up on the ends of my hair. Just add like loads of volume. Then I'm just gonna finish off with some hairspray. So this is the L'Oreal L Net. This is like my favorite. I just lift and spray. So yeah, that is how I do my hair with a curling wand. So now I'm gonna show you what I do when I use a straightener. This straightener is a Nikki Clark one, um, but any sort of straightener you have will do. Usually the ones with the rounded edges are the best for curls, but um, just a straightener. When I curl it with a straightener, I don't separate my hair. I kind of just work through my hair bit by bit, just because I like it really loose and messy, so I'm not fussy. The curls of a straightener as well can be a lot more defined, so I like to just sort of take chunks as I go along pretty much. I don't know, it's just what I do. I just sort of part it roughly where I want my hair to sit. I usually will just do this at the end anyway, but I just roughly, roughly do it. I start with a section at the front and then what you wanna, whoop, I'm getting caught. So once you've grabbed your bit of hair, you wanna angle the straightener downwards like this. We're gonna go through the hair like this. Um, you don't want to have it like up or sideways or anything. The angle of the straightener is what's most important because it will depend on how the curl comes out. Now having it down at this like, what degree is this? Like 45 degrees? I don't know. <laughs> will cause the hair to be like a nice loose wave, not have too much curl to it because I don't want like a ringlet curl. I want something really soft and like wavy. So I stick by the same thing that I do when I'm using the curling iron, leave the ends out, alternate the way the curls go, stick to different sizes, all of that. So I just go ahead, twist it back, so I've sort of twisted it about halfway, and then just pull, pull it through. And as you can see, you get a loose wave. So I turn it like 180 degrees, and then I just go down until I reach just towards the end, and then I'll let it go. I'm just gonna bring this one inwards, So if your straightener's like mine and sometimes like struggles to go like smoothly throughout your hair, just like open and close it like this. Down the hair. <laughs>
So this is what they look like with a straightener. I do like using a straightener because you can alternate the way the curls come out. Like obviously the more you turn the straightener and like the longer you have it in your hair for, the tighter the curls will be. But obviously if you have it at that angle that I did, like always have the straightener pointing down and going through it kind of quickly, you'll get these sort of looser ones. Again, I've just let it cool and I pretty much style it the exact same way that I did the curling eye one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. This like shaking out part is definitely the most vital bit to my hair, like getting it so like big and messy for sure. Like you can see already, I've just gone ahead and shaken that out, but look how much like bigger my hair is. It's insane. <laughs> Going with some thickening spray. Lift the hair up with the brush. And then of course, just finish with some hairspray. If you guys are a hair toucher like me, you will appreciate this hair because you could literally throw it in any way that you want and it will just naturally be able to fall like that because obviously the curls aren't defined or anything. This is my hair once it's been curled with a straightener. I find both methods just as easy as the other, to be honest. I will say I think the straightener is probably a little bit quicker, maybe because I don't section it off, but either one I go for, it just depends what I'm feeling. So I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and I also hope that it was helpful enough. I mean, I suck. I suck at explaining things. I'm awful and I'm really not the best with her. Like when it comes to hair, I'm kind of clueless. You guys probably think I know what I'm doing, but like deep down I'm like, ah! So even though my explaining sucked, I hope that you guys could see what I was doing and kind of get the gist of it. I hope. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. And also if you do want to see more from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're here. I love you guys and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.